Or am I where I got my ass in trouble at the strip club doing this shit? Don't ever do that shit. <laughs> they said I'm never, the strip club. I see my friends go have fun with their old lady and their wife and their girlfriend and their baby mom at the strip club. Mm -hmm. Man, I tried that shit and got no. Said, that was a, rubble, no, rubble. no, that's a You know why? Because what you just said is so real. Like, I love my wife. I'm super attracted to my wife. She right. know that. I sure. But in the strip club, I mess around and pick. <laughs> <laughs> Something that looks ideal, like it was exactly uh, what I was attracted to, and I liked it. It was like I was supposed to pick a okay, my wife is dark skinned, you know, thick, you know, and I was basically going to go in there and pick the total average to get a light skinned girl <laughs> that's skinny as hell, no tears. Oh, so no you picked ass. the same. Oh, man. I picked Ooh. the one I really want. I, never, I didn't know that. And another thing, really, bro, I'm a shout out to everybody. Don't ever pick. You let your old lady pick. I ain't nobody gave me the game, though. No, you can pick. <laughs> man, hell no. Nah, you see this picking shit get you in trouble, y'all. He got in trouble for picking. Pick. I got in trouble for picking because you're going to pick something that, like he just said, I felt like my wife felt like, oh, oh you would like her. her. Oh, you would, you, she, oh, okay. So if I wasn't here, y'all would have vibed. Because you, you, you got to think about, and then she told me that night. I could just imagine how you act. You know, I'm in there slapping cheeks and stuff, though. I thought I, you know, my wife right here. I'm in there. Like, I'm in there. Like, I don't have that. Like, like, I'm real. So I didn't want to act different in the club. I want to show her what exactly. we do. Exactly. You want to let her know it. that she, you know what I'm saying? I tell a lot of folks, I don't even get really aroused by it. It's the, it's the atmosphere. A lot of men, especially for me, I go in there for the atmosphere, bro. Why Never go been. in a bar? Because, like, it was really for weed smoke. Like, I can smoke bud in there and you, eat my wings. You and, hear that? You see what I'm saying? He, you just said you never been to a strip club. Ever in your life? Never. We going. We gonna try to go out YouTube. Never step that. foot in the YouTube and that shit. I'm I'm never, never, I've I'm never, I've never, I've never understood right. the premise of it. I'm going I'm to tell you, look, it is money. irresponsible. Man, it's so real, y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all see y'all getting it, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Y'all gonna get these look. combo, these smoke sessions with questions. It is a waste. It is all that. Blah blah blah. Come on, man. They need their rent paid, too, man. All right, so... They need their rent paid, Back to what we were saying. Let's start talking, okay? I just want to give y'all my little story about me picking and getting right. in trouble. Right. But that was my number one thing of how it works in a relationship. Like, do you get in trouble for the type of women so that you bring to the table? And then for the other woman to understand that that's your man and she has a place... It's hard to put women in their place, and he doing it. Like, I want to... I've, I've never done that. But I feel like you kind of are. Not, we are, not we are on to... the eighth girl that we've talked to since okay. we've been together. I've never had to say, you are my wife, and that's just my girlfriend. Okay. I've never had to. Because it's supposed to already be understood. It's in the, understood. Like you say, the, the, yeah, the, the energy the already there. That girl, <coughs> she going to show you her wifely <coughs> traits. And if she don't have those wifely traits, <coughs> what she do, she learn from wifey. And women pay attention to other real. women so much. So a lot of men, they ask me, how do I do it? But really, it's the woman. Mm. She keeps everything kind of in line. So when, she's the real nigga here. <laughs> when, when, listen, yesterday, when I'm laying in the bed with my girlfriend and my wife come in the door from a long day of work and she see me in there sleep with Shorty. I mean, Kate. I mean, Drip coming out <laughs> like like I was done for. You get me? Yeah. And she don't say nothing. She go get in the shower. She hop in bed with us. We kick it. Like it's the having that real one behind you that allows a woman to be submissive because they see another <coughs> woman that got submissive with you. Yeah. You get me? <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier. I get a lot more women knowing that <coughs> I have a wife and this is what we do than if I was single. Mm, yeah, I feel like trying to do some shit. Yeah. I see. Even if I was single, I would lie and say I have a girlfriend because I like the upper hand that it gives me. Oh, man. Y'all heard it. I'm betting, <laughs> y'all. I had to give a camera. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I'm going to chop it up, get it right. But he, yeah, I ain't going to let my wife watch this shit. What you said? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, look, look. Check this out. We love y'all women, too, now. This is the reason why I do it. It's not, like, women now, it's not like I'm some super pimp. I think that I'm, like, so attractive or I'm so valuable that I deserve hella women. Why you make no phone call you daddy, bro? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Now, now, <laughs> like, now. bro, I, did my thing. If I got that going on, that's the shit I'm on. I feel like a pimp. Like, no, baby, don't watch this part. But boy, if I had two, yeah. man, two. and then, like I say, my thing is my I wife. We've had up to three in the two same times. bed at the same time. 